Coming to you virtually from the internet, this is week 13 of Kindergarten Music. I'm your teacher, Mr. Wealthley, and in today's lesson, we will be learning about a brand new family of instruments. We are also going to talk about the letter M. So let's get started with some stretches. Take your arm, touch your feet, grab your elbow, and bow. your arm, touch your back, grab your elbow, and rock. Take your arm, touch your body, push your elbow. Take your arm, touch your body, push your elbow. Take your shoulders and move them forward. And backward. And one at a time. Forward. And one at a time. Forward. Take your hands in circles. <laughs> other direction. Face each other. And away from each other. Squeeze and up, squeeze and down. Squeeze and up, squeeze and down. Wiggle, 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 shake. Wiggle, 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 shake. Wiggle, 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 shake. Wiggle, 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 put your hands on your back. Take your neck in a circle. Other direction. Take your hands and stretch them tall. Taller, tallest, and relax. Slowly roll up, shake it off, look over your shoulder, look over your other shoulder, and look at Mr. Wealthy. Hey, thanks for stretching with me. Great job, everybody. Now, uh, we are going to talk about our first uh, instrument of a brand new family. So far, we have talked about the woodwind family. We've discussed the brass family. And now it's time to talk about a family called the string family. They all have the same thing in common. They all have strings. But before I show you our first instrument, I need to show you a, a part that's very important to this instrument. And that's called the bow. If you look, it is a very long piece of wood, and attached to the piece of wood is hair. Don't worry, this isn't human hair. It's just that they gave a horse a nice little haircut, and they tied the horse hair to this stick to make the bow. And you use the bow to rub on the strings to make music, all right? Let's look at our first string family instrument. This instrument has what we call a scroll at the tippy top. It's all rolled up, just like a scroll. Just below the scroll are one, two, three, four tuning pegs. And these make the strings go higher and lower. We also have a neck, just like everybody has a neck. And this instrument has a body. The body is made out of wood, but look how shiny that wood is. You can see the reflection of my computer in it. On the other side, there are one, two, three, four strings. And the strings are held up by a little piece of wood called a bridge. On, other, on either side of the bridge, there are these holes that are shaped like fancy letter Fs. And that's why they're called F holes. That's where the sound comes out. Then below the bridge, 
we have more tuners, but these are much smaller. And they make the string sound just a little bit higher and just a little bit lower. And so we call them fine tuners. And then at the bottom here, we have a rest for my chin. And since my chin can rest on it, it's called a chin rest. And that's right where it goes, right there. I just hold it into place with my chin. There are a couple of different ways to play a stringed instrument. First of all, you can pluck the strings like this. If you pluck the strings, that has a really long, fancy name. We don't just say plucking in music. We call it pizzicato. Pizzicato just means plucking. However, if you take the bow and you rub it on the strings, that's called bowing, or a fancy word, arco. And bowing or playing arco sounds like this. By now, I'm guessing you probably figured out the name of this instrument. It's a pretty common instrument. What do you think it's called? If you guessed violin, you are absolutely correct. This is a violin. Great job, everybody. It is now time to do some vocal warm-ups. We need to warm up our voices so that we can sing today's songs. And our first warm-up is a picture of these little mice. And these mice are blind. That means they cannot see. They are three blind mice. And if you look, they are going up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. They are running around the kitchen and they're not sure where they're going. So they're just making these little ups and little downs. And that's the way our voices are going to warm up today. <clears throat> so let's try singing it like this. One, two, ready, here we go. Woo, 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 whoop. Just a little bit high and a little bit low. Not too high and not too low. Great job warming up your voices, friends. But now let's do some low singing some medium singing, and some high singing, all right? Today we're talking about the letter M, so we are going to warm up our voices with the letter M. And my friend Caleb is here to help us sing. And so I'll sing in a low voice, and Caleb will repeat after me. And you go ahead and sing with him, okay? It goes like this. Big M, little M. Big M, little M. Many mumbling mice. Many mumbling mice. Are making midnight music. Are making midnight music. In the moonlight mighty nice. In the moonlight mighty nice. All right. Great job, boys and girls. Now we're going to sing a little bit higher, all right? <clears throat> so let's try that. Big M, little M. Big M, little M. Many mumbling mice. Many mumbling mice. Are making midnight music. Are making midnight music. In the moonlight, mighty nice. In the moonlight, mighty nice. And finally, let's sing in a really high voice. Big M, little M. Big M, little M. Many mumbling mice. Many mumbling mice are making midnight music. Or making midnight music in the moonlight, mighty nice. In the moonlight, mighty nice. 
Thanks, Caleb. And great job, boys and girls, warming up your voices low, medium, and high. Since we're talking about the letter M today, and since we're talking about mice, let's sing about our friend Mimi the mouse, because Mimi is a name that starts with M. Let me read this to you. It says, me, me, mouse. Me, me, mouse. Minds her manners in the house. When she sips her milk, she never makes a mess. Mud pies never stain her dress. Now's the time where we count out how many words start with the letter M. I'll say an M word and you go ahead and count it for me. Let's try. Mimi is our first word, so that's one. Mouse is two. Mimi is three. And mouse is four. Mines is five. Manners is six. Then at the bottom, it says milk, which is seven. It says makes, which is eight. Mess, which is nine. Uh-oh, are you ready? Do you know what comes after nine? Because our last word is mud. And so that is 10 words starting with the letter M. I'm going to invite Kayla back and we're going to sing this one sentence at a time. And it goes like this. <clears throat> I'll sing first and you repeat after me, okay? Me, me, mouse. Me, me, mouse. Me, me, mouse. Me, me, mouse. Minds her manners, minds her manners. In the house, in the house. When she sips her milk, when she sips her milk. She never makes a mess, she never makes a mess. Mud pies never stain her dress. Mud pies never stain her dress. Now that we know the melody, let's go ahead and try to sing the song with my guitar. All right. It goes like this. When she sips her milk, she never makes a mess. Mud pies never stain her dress. All right. Great job singing about Mimi the mouse. But now it's time for our final mouse song. Our final song about mice that start with the letter M. And we're back to our three blind mice that we saw earlier. Remember, they cannot see, and they are going to be running around the kitchen in this song. And it goes like this, three blind mice, three blind mice. Then it says, see how they run, see how they run. Uh-oh. It says they all ran after the farmer's wife. So this lady is the wife of the farmer and the mice are running after her. It says she jumped on the table and dropped her knife. She was cooking in the kitchen. She was chopping vegetables with a knife and she dropped it when the mice started chasing her, because you should never run with a knife, boys and girls. 
And then it says, did you ever see such a sight in your life? There's the knife on, she dropped on the floor. And look in the background on the countertop. There's some cheese. And the mice are going after the cheese while the farmer's wife is on top of the table. It says, did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice? And look what the mice are doing. They took the cheese off of the countertop and they're taking it away. All right, let's try singing this song. Let's do it one sentence at a time. I invite Caleb to come back and help us out. I'll sing first and you guys sing with Caleb, all right? It goes like this. Three blind mice, three blind mice. Then we sing that again. Three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. See how they run, see how they run. All right, now we have some challenging sentences, so I hope you're ready. It goes like this. They all ran after the farmer's wife. Can you try that? They all ran after the farmer's wife. Great job. Here's another challenge for you. She jumped on the table and dropped her knife. She jumped on the table and dropped her knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life? Did you ever see such a sight in your life? As three blind mice. As three blind mice. All right, now that we have the melody down, let's try it with the guitar. Let's go back to the beginning of the song. And let's try this together. Here we go. Three blind eyes. Three blind eyes. See how they run. See how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife. She jumped on the table and dropped her knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind eyes? Right, boys and girls, thanks for singing with me uh, about the letter M today and learning about our first string instrument, the violin. Next time, we'll see another string instrument and we'll learn a brand new letter. Until then, bye-bye uh, and I'll see you next time.